Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. Today you will learn how you can assign or apply a moment load as well as a uniform distributed loads and the concentrated or the point load on a I section beam. Besides this, you will also learn how we can apply a immovable or translational supports at the different locations of a beam. And you will also learn how you can draw shear forces and bending moment diagrams and how to evaluate moments as well as shear forces on the whole beams as well as at any section of a beam. So let's start your simulation study now. First of all, we will make a line diagrams of this beam. That is as one, two, three, four, five sections with the definite length. So open solid works and change units to millimeters. Then go to the front plane and make a sketch on the front planes. Draw a simple straight line with the length of 1000 mm. Okay. Now draw an other lines. P, 4 and 5. Length of the last section is also 1000 millimeters and second last one has also length of the 1000 millimeter. So make their length equals and uh, this second section has length of 250 millimeter and this middle one has length of 750 millimeter. We have make a five sections for a beam. Now we exit from sketch now and go to the weldments. And then click on the structure members. From standard, select the ISO. Then go to the SB beam from type. And then select the size 120 by 12 millimeter. Now click on the groups and then select these lines to assign the profile to these lines. Make zoom. You can see this is the I beam. We want to rotate this I sections, drop down and enter the angle 90 degree. You can see the I beam has been rotated about x axis with value of 90 degree. Okay. Hide the, these lines. After that, start a new simulation study. So add in the SOLIDWORKS simulation premium and wait until the simulation tab appears here. So click on the simulation tab and start a new study and from the general information simulation select the static. Okay. Now first of all assign the material that is the plain carbon steel. Click here and go to the cut list and ensure that the beam symbol is appeared. If we click here and go to the added definitions, you can see the type is beam selected. That is and one is rigid and also and two is rigid. So if we explore, expand all others, this warning then shows that this beam has a short length. So ignore this warning. This will make no problems in the simulation study. Now it's time to apply our fixtures 
द ट्रांसलेशनर आर एम यू एम मूवेबल स्पोर्ट्स जस्ट राइट क्लिक ऑन द फिक्सचर्स एंड गो टू द फिक्स्ड ज्योमेट्री फ्रॉम हेयर यू कैन सेलेक्ट द फ्रंट व्यू यू कैन सी द वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स नंबर ऑफ जेंट्स एंड दीज पर्पल वन शोज दीज शो दैट येलो वन शो दैट दीज आर द फ्री एंड्स ओके फ्रॉम हेयर फ्रॉम द फिक्सचर टाइप सेलेक्ट द दिस ऑप्शन एम मूवेबल Then select this joint, joint A. If we select here and the joint E, this one, this is the last one. You can see this is the second last one. A and E will apply a support, a translational support or pin support at at these both joints. you can change the symbol size so that it may be more clear so this mean that this joint will kill, cannot move in x directions as well as y direction similarly for this joint okay so the symbols hide the sketch after that it's time to apply a udl that mean uniform distributed loads you can see here that load is 15000 kN per meter on the section ef just go to the loads select the force then select the beam select this portions from here from direct for reference direction select the front plane and select the per unit length then select the this along plane direction to reverse the directions enter the value that is 15000 newton per meter so click here 15000 newton per meter similarly you will apply a front load of 8000 newtons at b and d at joint b and the d so again go to the loads select the force from here select the joint and select this joint that is the b and click on the directions select the front plane and select the y directions change the symbol directions and enter the value of 8000 newton you can change the size of the symbol as well as the color add in the color okay again repeat just copy it and the paste but at this time select this joint that is a b c and d add it definitions clear selections and select this joint one so a load of 8000 newton has been applied at the joint that is a d okay after that you will apply a load of moment load at the joint b at joint c you can see the moment is in the clockwise directions so it will be negative and if it a moment is in counter clockwise direction then it will be positive so we will take the z axis as per direction of thumb now again go to the loads and select the force from here select the joint type select this joint click the direction select the front planes 
and go to the moments and select the course moment. This nail shows that if nail is away from you, that means it is a counterclockwise direction. And if the nail is towards your side or towards you, if the head of nail, that means the clockwise directions. Just reverse the directions. So this is the clockwise directions. Enter the value of the moment that is 20,000 Newton meter. As you can see here, that is 20,000 Newton meter in the clockwise directions. Okay. So we have applied the uh, translational or immovable supports adjoint A and the E, as well as the uniform distributed loads at the last sections and the moment loads at the joint C as well as concentrated point loads at the B and the D. Now it's time to run the simulation study. Wait until your solution converts. Click here and select the front plane. You can see your solution has been completed now. So our next point is to check the deformations, click here on the displacement, go to edit definitions, edit definitions and select the displacement in the y directions, to the minimum and the maximum. So this is the minimum displacement that is 4.40 and it, this is the maximum displacement that is 9.93 millimeter. We can also show the superimposed model of the undeformed beam. So go to settings, click here and reduce the transparency. So this is the actual beam and this is the deformed shape of the beam. Just animate the displacement value. So this is the deformation behavior of a beam under these sports and loading conditions. Okay. Similarly, we can evaluate the beam diagrams. So click on the results and click on the define beam diagrams from here show the shear force in direction once select the all sections of the beam so you can see that shear force is positive on, on at all sections and it is negative where the udl has been applied you can also show the maximum as well as minimum values of the shear force force, select the minimum and the maximum value of the shear force. So here is the minimum value and here is the maximum value of shear force that is 17,000, 17.17 kN that is and the other is 15 kN in the negative directions at the joint E. Similarly, we can also calculate or evaluate the moments diagram. So click on the bending moment in directions 2. Okay. From here, go to the top views. So this is the bending moments at different positions or joints of the beam. Go to edit definitions. You can see the minimum value of the moments as well as the maximum value of the moments that occur 
here is the maximum value and here is the minimum value of the shear moments. You can also check the moment values about these sections. Just again go to the beam diagrams from here to the moment in direction 2 from here select this go to the front sorry first I will select options and select this one ok now go to the top views you can see the woman diagrams at the section where UDL has been applied in this way so if I summarize the today lecture you have learned a lot you have learned how you can apply a uniform distributed load and how to apply a bending or oh sorry a moment loads as well as concentrated or a point load at different section of the beam and also you learn how you can apply translational supports at different section of the beam and how to evaluate some bending moments diagram as well as shear force diagrams of a beam thank you for watching this video